Hey, this is Fred from North 40 Fly Shop, Great Falls, Montana. Tying a purple tongue jig pheasant tail nymph today. And uh, I've got the camera zoomed in kind of tight so you can see this a little better. So our fly today features a tungsten jig. This is copper, 1 8 on a size 12 hook. I frequently tie this in a much smaller size, um, 16s and 18s but uh, for camera purposes we're going big. I'm using a 60 degree jig hook. There's a lot of different options from Umqua and Firehole and uh, a few others that can all be suitable. For our pheasant tail body you can use natural pheasant tail or in this case I'm actually going with dyed purple. We've got some uh, copper wire UV purple ice dub and then our collar here is nature spirit some CDC and I'm using the feather in uh, a calabatus color so I've got my bead on the hook I'm gonna spin up some thread I like to take a few turns and then just kind of push it back into the bead head there. Then I'll go ahead and finish up my thread base. Then I'm going to tie in my copper wire. And then we've got our first layer of pheasant tail for the tail. And I'm going to measure that tail length of roughly the uh, same as my thread base. Tie that in and then just go right up over that pheasant tail material and take it right up to the bead. You could put a little bit of a lead wrap or an extra wire wrap there to kind of force that bead up to the bend of the hook but um, I'm just going to tie my materials right up there to solve that problem. So then we've got our pheasant tail for the body and we're going to take our thread back, tie that pheasant tail section in by the tips and then I'm going to grab my rotary feature I like the control that this gives and I'm just going to palmer that right up by spinning her. That should give me enough space and then I'm just going to take that right back up to the bead again. Then we're going to counter wrap our wire. Get that started. All right. Now for the thorax, this purple ice dub, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to dub right into my thread. And I'm using a 6 op Vivas thread here. And one cool thing about this is if you backspin it, you can actually separate your strands. Just running my fingertips down there, I can feel when it gets smooth and then I know that those strands will separate. And I'm just going to get a little, put an inch long tuft of ice dub, lay it right in between my 
strands of thread and then just spin my bobbin. That secures that dubbing nicely and it also leaves uh, some ends out and makes them nice and spiky. There we go. And then for our last step, we are going to add in our uh, CDC. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm actually going to put that CDC into the thread and uh, spin it into a loop. So I've got a lot of spins to get rid of after that last step. You can certainly use smaller thread, use 70 denier thread and use a dubbing loop the normal fashion. But since I've got the Vivas here, it just makes a nice nice option just to spin right into that thread. So I've got a little CDC feather here prepped about an inch long. I'm just going to stick that in there and cut the stem away. That traps those fibers nicely. And then I can just sweep them back as I wrap my collar. Couple whip finishes with my fingers. And we have a wrap. Purple tongue jig little soft tackle for some action, killer little fly pattern varietal of the ever popular jig style nymphs that we're fishing quite frequently today. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions certainly check us out, uh, come into our fly shops, give us a ring, email us and uh, you can always follow us at north40flyshop.com.